Hi everyone, welcome back to Michelle Reads and Vlogs and today is one of my most anticipated book unboxing videos ever. We have got the June book from the Locked Library and this has the theme Moon Crossed Lovers. This is literally a book that I am dying to read. I have got four or five different copies on pre-order at the moment and this is the first one that's come and I can't explain why. I've just got into the hype. I'm so excited for it and I need to read this book as soon as possible. So as normal, we've got the packing paper here and we have got, oh, it's chunky. She is a chunky one. I should have completely expected that. This is a weighty book. This is probably one of the biggest that we've had from the library so far. I think the book that wouldn't burn was quite big as well, but here we go let's get into it i can't wait to see this customization i've not seen it yet so this is a complete surprise oh my gosh how is it so pretty and this is just the standard cover but with the extra foiling on the name and the author name there and you can see it's like that silver foiling, but when it catches the light, it goes like blue and almost rainbow colours. Wow, I'm so overwhelmed already. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's pretty. It's so pretty. Let's keep looking. So we've got that same extra silver foiling here on the name of the book and the author. Did I even name the book yet? <laughs> I'm too excited for this one. So we've got When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. She is an Australian author. This book, I've just seen the spread edges. Oh my God. <laughs> this book was indie published and that's where it started to gain its popularity. And it's now just been published through a traditional publisher. And people are going mad for this book and for its special editions. So there we go. And then onto the back, we've got the dragon at the top. It's so cool. He's fire and brimstone. I'm shattered ice. I'll gladly burn beneath him until the world comes crumbling down. Stunning. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. Sprayed edge, we've got block purple on the top and bottom. And this is our sprayed edge on the side. Wow. Just wow. So we've got that dragon and it's going into fireworks in the sky. We've got the castle below. I wonder what this is at the very bottom. It almost looks like some kind of a bonsai tree, maybe. Wow. That is just, oh, wow. I, I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> The end papers. Oh my God, the end papers. Wow. So I think this is romanticy, to be fair. We've got our two main characters here in the moonlight. You can almost see the shadows of other couples dancing in the background. You can actually see this picture better on the phone screen that I can look at. Because when you look at it, it's quite blurry but then I almost feel like the phone screen just makes that blurriness everything comes into focus a little bit more and I didn't pick up that until I looked at it but there's the the dragon in the moon as they dance oh my gosh stunning absolutely stunning I'm shaking <laughs> I'm struggling to change the pages so this is our back end paper art I almost feel is that the same but mirrored Let's have another look there. Yeah, I think it's the same, but mirrored to the front. Their expressions look the same. They've got the masks on. The stance looks the same. So it's just kind of inverted, but what a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of artwork. Now, the Lot Library do have printing straight onto the hardback. Oh, So again, it's just all this dragon theme. 
And I think what is so good for all the colours from this kind of the theming that they're doing is it's kind of the opposite of fourth wing, whereas fourth wing was obviously all gold and black. And here they've gone for the silver and it just works. You know, all of the sprayed edges on fourth wing were golden oranges. And these are all kind of like silvers, blues, purples. I just think that whoever marketed this has done a brilliant job on kind of carrying on this hype, but it's completely different. Anyway, you can still see the colours in this foiling again. Like how? How have they done that? What is it? I can't... It does. It's like iridescent. The different colours get picked up by it. Mad. You've got the dragon in the middle here. No, I don't really know what all of this is. If it's meant to be like, I'm going to guess kind of like the sky. Beautiful. And then the side, you have got the name of the book and the author with the locked key. And they always put the publisher on the bottom there, which is Harper Voyager. And again, that matches all of the others. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. We've got the bound in author letter that we always get with the locked library. You've got a purple ribbon bookmark on this one. So they always match the bookmark to the book. And I'm not sure we've got any bonus content. We don't normally. Oh, this is good in the back. There's a whole list of trigger warnings. So if you're sensitive to any certain topics or subjects, definitely take a look at that. It says the next one in the series is coming autumn 2025. She has a whole pronunciation guide in the back. This is not special to this edition. That is just in general. She has a list of characters, all sorts in the back here, just to help you with the world building, which I've already seen people, you know, say that this was really helpful, the glossary. There is also a family tree in the back here. So they are definitely helping us out. And then I'm pretty sure this is just the end of the book. Yeah, we've got the epilogue. So I think there's, there's no bonus content, but we don't need it. We don't need it. I'm so happy. Oh my God. So, I mean, I will make sure I've put the original cover up because I don't know if the original is slightly more blue than this and this is more purple. But as I said, this is the first one of my additions to come. I've ordered the Waterstones. I've ordered the Barnes & Noble. I don't know if that's specific to Barnes & Noble or if it's just the US edition ordered a paperback Alyssa's World beautiful edition of this she's making 50 copies are being released and she's pushed the release back and I want one I want to get my hand on one of those copies so much fairy loop fairy loop's the other one that I've ordered so yeah I'll make sure I put the original cover up so that you can compare but wow let me read the synopsis for those of you who don't know what this one is about yet as an assassin for the rebellion, Rave's job is to complete orders and never get caught. When a rival bounty hunter shatters her world, Rave finds herself captured by the Guild of Nobles, a group of powerful fae. Crushed by the loss of his great love, dragon rider Khan Vega, I'm pretty sure all the pronunciations are in the back, so I'm probably getting these wrong, but Khan Vega took the head of a king and donned his melted crown. Now on a tireless quest to quell the never-ebbing ache in his chest, a clue lures him into the capital's high-security prison where he stumbles upon the imprisoned rave. Dot, dot, dot. Together they seek truths that threaten to unravel everything that they knew about the world and each other. Best-selling sensation when the moon hatched will transport you into a world filled with magic dragons and a love that blazes through the ages. There we go. I don't think I need to share any more thoughts because I have drooled over this book since I took that paper off and I think you've probably all seen that. So I am very happy to have this edition of this. I want to read it immediately but I don't know whether to wait for my US paperback to come because I almost just don't want to even touch this book and risk ruining it because oh Wow, I just hit myself in the face with it. It is stunning. I am very happy. Let me know what you think about this one or if you've not heard of it yet or if you have heard of it, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you've managed to get your hands on this edition, let me know. Let me know if you were excited as I am when I opened it. 
Give the video a like if you've not done so already. That really helps me in the channel out. If you are interested in getting a standard edition of this, I'll put affiliate links down in the description as usual. I think that's everything. Subscribe if you haven't done so and you want to see more from me. Otherwise, have a good rest of your day wherever you are, whatever you're up to, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.